All right, welcome back everybody to uh, my channel, Rusty Wheels. Um, just as I promised, uh, well, I'm a day late, but still, it's it's going to be uh, my Saturday finds at the flea market. I know I should have done this yesterday, being Saturday, today Sunday, blah, blah, blah whatever. Uh, you know, you get busy with life, don't have time. But I'm going to try my best to uh, uh, make a schedule such as making the videos on Saturday and or this day and this day and stick to it so I apologize for that but yesterday I did uh, I did travel out to the flea market my wife and I did and usually when I go to the flea market I find some pretty good stuff and yesterday was really uh, no exception to that I, I think I found some pretty good stuff some of the stuff I found and some of the stuff I'm showing um, I'm sure some of my viewers will say oh you know that's that's nothing I've gotten that I've had that but to me to me it's 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 new to me or it's a uh, updated version of, of one I had already or whatnot so, anyway let's get into it I'll show you some of the stuff I got from the flea market um, as always uh, leave comments down in the comment section. Tell me which one you like best. Um, give me any information on on some of them. Uh, that's one thing I do like to do is I do like to try to find all the information of each piece. That way I know exactly what I have down to the price guide uh, or the prices. Uh, not necessarily for to resell them. Um, I tend to keep everything, <laughs> and uh, but it's 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 nice to know what they cost. So, with it, uh, with that being said, let's let's get started here. On the first car I got is this right here. It is a Jada, I believe. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a Maisto uh, Volkswagen bus. It is not that bad condition. A uh, couple of little play marks up top. Uh, the paint is still all relatively there. This is, of course, 164th scale. Um, I think it's a cute little thing. Cute little bus. And the back here, the back opens up and exposes the motor. The motor is all chrome, which, of course, um, in this scale and, and with Maisto, you're not really going to expect a completely highly detailed motor in there. But it looks nice. It, it it looks nice. And really the only reason I got this, well, my wife wanted it. She thought it was cute. As soon as she saw it, she picked it up and she claimed it. So that's that's the first one I got. And it cleaned up very well. And uh, it's hers. <laughs> All right. So second one I got, let's see. That was something small. Something small, nothing big. This This little tiny thing here. I don't know if y'all know the brand of that or who made that or whatnot. This is a Micro Machines. Um, these were really, really popular when I was a kid in the 90s. Um, I actually have the complete set for this upstairs in my, uh, in my, my wife calls it man cave, but in my hobby room, my car room, I've got the complete set. It came with this and they, uh, uh, the transporter to transport this well so I don't know why I, I don't know why I bought this kind of impulse uh, the paints not even that great as you can see see if it focuses yeah kind of a little bit sort of you can see right there on the uh, 43 how the paint scratched off so excuse me y'all so uh, nothing too exciting there but you know I figured, hey, why not? Why not pick it up? I got one in the package. If I get if I get stuff in packages, um, if I purchase a car that's in a package, I won't open it. Um, I'll leave it in the package. So, like I said, I have this in the package already. I'm not going to open it. So here's one out of the package that I can pick up, look at, roll around, smell it, do whatever I want to with it. <laughs> so that's that. Um, that and you know with the whole package thing I'll buy packaged cars depending on what the cars are um, you know of course treasure hunts supers um, M2's of course most of the M2's I buy are new in the package you know I'll leave those in the package 
but one thing that I really love about going to the flea market or an antique store and buying cards is they're not in packages. I don't have to worry about should I open this or should I not open this. It's already open. I didn't make that choice. You know what I mean? So I can appreciate it for what it is uh, in a sense, I guess, if that makes any sense. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we're going to do next. I'm going I'm in, I'm to in leave out the Hot Wheels and Matchbox for last and just kind of show some of the other brand branded cars I got. Here's here's one I picked up. This one is an M2 uh, Challenger Charger Super B. I know that uh, it's a Super B. So Charger maybe Challenger. I'm a Chevy guy myself. Not that I dislike and hate any other brands. You know, older I've getting older I've gotten. I've uh, learned to have appreciation for all manufacturers, but pick this one up. It's an M2. I just love these these M2s that have the uh, race inspired graphics on them, and when they have the uh, Hoosier wheels back here or the uh, BF Goodrich BF Goodrich wheels, you know, it just good looking car. The hood opens, got a nice little detailed engine in there. I don't know. If, I can get it to focus or not. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm using my phone here. I'm pretty much a newbie here at uh, making videos on YouTube. Making videos, period. Um, so from this side, it looks great. And it does. That's undeniable. But if you turn it around, you see down here, it's missing the bumper. It's missing the grill. And then you turn around to the side, and it's missing the wheel. So, <laughs> I don't even know... The only reason I bought it is because this side looks nice. I mean, I, I guess it could be displayed this way. I'll probably end up bagging it and uh, throwing it in one of my one of my uh, drawers with the cars, with my other cars. Um, and on the top here, it's missing the wing. You see the two holes there. So that's that. Would have been a nice car. If anything, I'll uh, hop on eBay or go to my local Toys R Us, Walmart, and whatnot. See if I can't find this one. This one's nice, and I wish, I wish it was, and I wish it was complete. Um, so, y'all, excuse me while I take a sip of coffee. Um, all right, next on, we got this little thing here. This little dragster. Now, this is a racing champions, and. Uh, this is my first Racing Champions uh, fuel dragster. I have uh, a lot of NASCAR diecast and uh, 164 mainly, and uh, a lot of Racing Champions with those 164 NASCARs. And this is my first one uh, uh, drag car. I'm sorry, y'all. So I had to pick it up, and it's uh, it's clean, very clean. Doesn't look like it really got played with too much. It's one of these brands. It's either the Racing Champions or the Winter Circles. I notice that if you pick one up that may be 10, 15 years old, the paint, even if if it's in mint condition, doesn't look like it's been played with. The paint looks like it's done dried out or something I don't know and it's it, you start to see cracks all in all in paint I just took my box of NASCARs back upstairs yesterday because I, I picked up some at the flea market and uh, if I would have left them down here I would have would have been able to show you but this here this uh, Castrol GTX is not a bad little car so I picked it up and of course with most of these cars I didn't pay but a dollar to um, so that's that. Add to my collection. All right, and I th think I do believe that was the last of the off-brand, uh, off-brand meaning non-Hot Wheels or uh, Matchbox. All right, so right now I'm gonna do Leslie. I I picked up two Lesnies. Um, one of the Lesnies I picked up. Well, I'll tell you about both of them. 
Uh, one of the last news I picked up, I already had. Uh, the one I already had, I was using as a fill-in piece until I could find a better one. And I found that better one uh, yesterday. And the other Lesney I found here um, is one of the rarer of this series. And unfor unfortunately, it has a broken piece to it. But even at that, if it wasn't for that broken, broken piece, this truck would be, I mean, not mint condition, but it would be, it'd be worthy to be in my collection. I am talking about the Tipper, Tipper truck, the Douglas. Now, you give me one second. And I am going to pull out the more common of the Tipper truck. Which of course, most people should already know. Pull that out. Alright. Oh, and we are back. <laughs> How's the lighting in here, y'all? I, I, I haven't... Uh, I, I keep saying this, I'm new to this. Uh, I don't... Is this... Is the lighting good here? I was wondering if I should start making videos upstairs in, in, in my room um, or my man cave uh, where I'm surrounded by all my cars. Right here, right to my left, I have a uh, Cheerio cabinet, lighted Cheerio cabinet, and it's nothing but Lesnies and super fast. So, like I said before, over and over again, comment, comment, comment. Leave me some uh, constructive criticism. Let me know what y'all want to see and how y'all want to see it. So, uh, back to these tippers. Uh, this is the one I got yesterday, the Douglas. And it is more of the, I ain't going to say it's the rarest of the rarest, but it is uh, less common than the other one. The other one being the, oh, I can never say this name right. Hover, hovering, hovering, hover, hovering ham. This is the most common. You know, if you happen to find some Lesneys and a tip for trucks there, you more than likely it's going to be that one. But I picked up this one yesterday. I think I actually have another variation to these eight eight uh, eight wheel tipper trucks, and uh, I think it's yellow. But it it's just in such bad condition that it's not even worth displaying. I think I cleaned it up and uh, bagged it and and threw it in a tote. But um, yeah, like I said, not that bad. A little paint loss there on the on the front the sides around the grill. Just a slight bit of paint uh, loss going around the top of the cab there. Nothing too major. Uh, the stickers there on that side. Stickers complete on that side. Let's see if I can get that right. Yep, yeah, see? It's not that bad. It's in played with condition. I've seen a lot, a lot worse. So like I said, this if this wasn't broken, it would definitely be a displayable piece. And, you know, it, it, I probably will display it and use it as a filler piece. But this is what's broken on it. As you can see, I can actually pull off the whole tipper part of it. You can see that that has been bent and snapped off the back. So, just put it back in there. You can see it's kind of hanging down there. It's gonna, it's, it's probably gonna get displayed um, until I can find a replacement part for it. And of course, uh, alongside the tipper being broken back there, you got, uh, it's missing the, it's missing the door, so. Um. That is unfortunate <laughs> it is unfortunate because I you know when I when I spotted it I was like oh you know awesome 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 I picked it up as soon as I picked it up guy selling it I was like oh yeah uh, it, it's broken uh, okay well how much you want for it and I, you know I don't think I paid but like two bucks for it so hey I'll take it two bucks give it to me all right moving on from that enough of that 
excuse me, y'all. Uh, it's morning here, so I'm drinking my coffee. And, you know, I'm going to go, in, go ahead and get it out of the way. I smoked cigarettes for 10 years. I am 30 years old. And uh, I quit smoking cigarettes by vaping. So I do vape. So I, I, I'm not one of the obnoxious ones that's going to blow it all on the camera and stuff. But if you would, please excuse me while, you know, I, I take a vape here and there, if, if that's okay. Appreciate that, y'all. All right. Uh, the next car I got, well, I'll show you the car I had first. The Vix, Vix, Vixel. I can't pronounce these names of these cars that well. Vauxhall Victor estate car. It is a number 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 35. Seems to be 35. This is the one that I had. As you can see, oh yeah, that paint is just rough. It needs a good restoration. I don't do restorations. <laughs> I don't. Partly because I know I will mess it up even more. And partly because I like to keep them original. Uh, but, you know, the paint on this is, like I said, rough. It's missing the back door there. As you can see, it's got red interior. There are variations to the interiors. The same place I picked up the hovering ham, he had a another one of these. So I picked it up, and this is just a side-by-side -side comparison. Fill in, new one. So with this one, I don't know if you can tell, the interior is not red. The interior looks like this greenish turquoise I'm telling you man variations for days on these things just when you think you have them all you'll find another one with a slight variation so yeah this is what I picked up to replace this one um, you might say well what are you gonna do with this one the options are always there to sell them um, and like I said or restore them but for me I bag them yeah, I got little, uh, I don't have any downstairs. I got little, little bags, uh, for jewelry, jewelry, I'm sorry, for like beads and stuff. And it's just the perfect size for these cars. Here, I'll pull out, I don't have no empty bag, but you can see, here's a car here. And there's the bag I use for them. As you can see, that car would just slide right down in there. And then I put them in my tote. Now each tote is uh, designated Lesney's Super Fast, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, uh, so on and so on. So that's that's what happened to this. So to get bagged and put in a tote. So, yep, got this one. I uh, think I paid, once again, two or three bucks. I do think, correct me if I'm wrong, I do think there was supposed to be a dog in this. Um, I could be wrong. I, 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 if it's not a dog, I know there was something that was, was supposed to come in this. But I want to say it was a dog. It was supposed to be a little plastic dog. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. No more Lesneys. No more regular wheel Lesneys. I did get one super fast. See that? Uh, <laughs> um, she is not perfect. She is the... Cosmobile number 68 75 made in England um, I've seen super fast in such worse conditions that this condition here doesn't bother me this for me this is I'll display this easily um, and if I and I won't search but if I do come across another piece that's in better condition I'll pick it up and replace it um, as you can see the whole top the top here should be I don't know what these are they're supposed to be like uh, a ladder or some hoses or something I don't know but there clearly should have been chrome 
that chrome is all worn off uh, the wheels I can't tell if the wheels were supposed to be uh, the regular chrome or not because I don't know if it's gonna pick it up it might pick it up a little bit you can kind of see the leftover paint on that back wheel is like a uh, it's like yeah there you go it's like a yellowish brown so I'm not sure if that's supposed to be silver but the front wheel see if they pick it up oh I'm such a noob uh, the front wheel has a bit of a chromey look to it but the two back wheels don't they the see you can see it there that back wheel and you can see that front wheel has more of a chrome look to it and that back has a brown y'all if y'all know anything about it let me know let me know in the comments uh, sometimes what I like to do with the super fast is uh, I learned from a youtuber mr. Ellie diecast uh, after watching probably every single video he's he's done he uses a uh, metallic silver uh, uh, permanent marker and he recolors the wheels in and so I tried it I've done it and it looks it looks so good and I'm, I'm telling you I've bought cars that were in much better shape than this much much better shape than this and the only thing that would be wrong with them would be the wheels would have no colors and I put color to those wheels and the car looks brand spanking new so if anybody has any info on this car as far as what color the colors these wheels were supposed to be let me know it wouldn't be it wouldn't it, it would be nice to know but it, I didn't I didn't pay about two or three bucks for it, so it's not bad. It's going in the collection. It's going to go uh, on display. So, that is the only super fast that I bought. And with that being said, that is all of the Lesney's super fast I got. Now I'll move on to Matchbox. Let me make sure real quick I'm not leaving out any other brand, and I'm not. Alright, I bought these two Matchboxes tanker truck um, Peterbilt I cannot read what that says there why doesn't this thing focus someone give me some advice on how to do this <laughs> um, looks like it says Getty it's some symbol with the ETTY anyway red Peterbilt see if it's made where it's made Made in Macau, 1981. So this would be uh, during or right after the super fast air. I love these old castings of the uh, trucks. I think they just look, they look so rugged and mean and slick, sexy. Even with the Hot Wheels, uh, the castings that Hot Wheels did with their Peterbilts and whatnot just look so great. And if I see them, I'm picking them up. Unfortunately, this one was a bit dusty as I always do when I get new cars as I clean and as I was cleaning this truck the one of the exhaust stacks was already broken off I want to say it was from this side I don't know if you'll be able to see but it, there's this this little piece was all that was left of the exhaust stack and the other side here had its complete exhaust stack and while I was Wiping it down, cleaning up off the dirt. I broke the exhaust stack off. So that kind of sucks. But besides that, it's still a nice looking truck. And uh, once again, a couple dollars. I mean, I paid a dollar for it. Next up is the Shell, the Shell Tanger truck. Now, this should be made around the same period, 81 in Macau. So, uh, during right at the end or right after the super fast air and this here is just mint condition there is no paint loss uh, couple couple minor little scratches on the uh, chrome which is it's not going to be able to pick it up but which is from what I've seen at least quite normal um, it, it's going to get some little scratches on there but the paint on it's good. 
Focus, focus. <laughs> uh, I mean, look at that. That is just sexy. That is sexy. I've got an. I've got. I think I got two or three more of these upstairs that are different companies. But uh, I got that one. Same place I got the red one. Oh, it's very unfortunate that I brought that uh, exhaust stack on them. But those, those, my friends, are nice. Those are what I like. Excuse me once again. All right. So, so far what I've gotten, uh, two Lesnies, super fast, the Road Champs, the... Maisto, the American Machine, the M2, and the two Peterbilt gas trucks, right? Yeah. So, without further, without further introduction, I don't, whatever, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> uh, these are the Hot Wheels I picked up. This Hot Wheel here is a, let's see when it was made. Date says 85, so you know you can never go by the date. So you, 86, 87 possibly. This is not the first one that, first one of these that I have. But I knew that if I was to leave it there, uh, the chances of somebody else picking it up, possibly a kid, and actually taking it outside and throwing it in the mud and playing with it, you know, it, it would. The chances of it just completely being ruined were pretty high if I didn't pick it up. This is not the first one I got. If you give me just one second, I'll pull out the other one that I have. I have it here in a jammer case to show. Um, if I can find it. And if I can't, oh well, we'll, we'll continue on. Um, Doesn't look like I'm gonna find it, unfortunately. Nope, doesn't look like I'm gonna find it. It's somewhere. Take my word on it, it's somewhere. But what this is, is a stunt team. It comes with, uh, if you see the bottom there, it's got like a little. You hear that? It's like a little latch, you got a button there. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but I've got two of these. I've got one that's exactly the same as this. Excuse me. And I've got another one that has a different paint scheme. Uh, so, yeah, picked it up. Nothing new to me, but uh, just an addition to the collection. So that's that. All right. Um, next up, I had to get this one. I had to get this one because... I remember as a kid having this same exact one. I think I ended up having like two or three of these as a kid. The Cobra. <laughs> the yellow stripes, the Cobra on the hood, convertible of course. And as always the hood opens to see that just big metal piece of, you know, what does it say there on the hood? Uh, just a bunch of numbers. This should be early 90s. Uh, what's that say? What's that say? That says 82. Huh. So, well, they probably came out in 83. They must. They probably had these coming out for a few years. I mean, I know they're still making these covers. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about this exact one with a paint body and well, not body, but the paint scheme and everything. Because I can remember pretty vividly uh, playing in the dirt with this same exact one. So when I saw it, had to pick it up. It's not in it's not in mint pristine condition, um, as you can see on the hood there. The striping uh, right there. There's a little blemish. The windshield is still there. That's always a plus. On the back there, you can see. On the two corners, a little bit of paint loss. Um, all the wheels are still colored, so not a bad, bad piece. Like I said, 
couple of little uh, dings there on the on the hood, a couple of paint chips there on the back. But had to pick that up. And must I remind you, you know, finding these cars at a flea market, about 95% of the time, um, you know, if, if I find this car and I'm like, hey, you know, how much for how much for this one? You know, they're not going to say, uh, give me 10 bucks. No, they're going to say, uh, I tell you what, pick out four of them for a dollar. So I'm getting this one and three other black wheels for a dollar. So that is what I love about going to the flea market. I love going to the flea market and hunting. My next Hot Wheel is the Soul Air CX-4. I have about seven of these. Um, but all of the ones that I have are the silver. And I thought this was kind of strange. You know, you can see the, wheel, the two back wheels are just bent to hell. But this one's red. This first one that I've got that's red. I don't know if it makes it any more rare than the other ones or not. But it's red. The ones that I have are silver. So I thought just have you know have the variation in my collection. Pick the red one up. These back wheels, man, I, they are just... I wish there was something, uh, some kind of tool or something that you could fix these axles because they just get bent so easily. And then you have a car that's in not bad shape, couple little paint necks, and then you got these wheels on the back that look completely stupid compared to the front. <laughs> if anyone in the comment section, if y'all know of any uh, tools, whatever, I, to, to straighten these out, please do so. Please comment and let me know. I mean, yeah, I could take it apart. Uh, drill out the rivets and this and that. But let me tell you something. I had a Ferrari yesterday that I was uh, drilling the rivets out on. I was going to put some nice, nice real rider wheels on it. Oh, it was going to be so sexy. The wheels were black. The car was red. And I was drilling and drilling and drilling. And I didn't think I was ever going to get down to that rivet. And when I felt that drill jerk, I thought, oh, okay. You know, I, I must have busted this rivet out. And I pulled the drill up, and when I pulled the drill up, the drill bit had on went through <laughs> the hood of the car, and I'm sitting here holding the drill, uh, you know, holding the trigger on the drill, and the car is just spinning around and around and around. Well, that's trash, you know. So, if anyone knows of any way, uh, straighten out the axles. Please, please, please let me know. All right, if you don't mind, I'm going to... Another little bait. Hope I'm not being too uh too um, rude by doing that. I apologize if I am. All right, I got a few more cars to go. Hopefully, I haven't lost your interest and you're still um, interested in seeing what I got to say and the cars that I picked up. Uh, my next car, I've never seen this one. Um, I'm sure a lot of my viewers probably have seen it or have it, but around these parts, I haven't seen it. And that is this Ferrari here. Why doesn't, why doesn't it focus? Why doesn't it focus? Oh, man. My heart just skipped a beat right there. <laughs> I dropped it. Uh, focus, focus. Why? How about there? Okay, anyway. I'll figure it out. I'll figure out. I'll figure it out how to get this camera to focus. Uh, but this is a Ferrari 308 Turbo uh, Silver with the Ferrari racing stripes going down the side. You could really see it better if the camera would focus, but it doesn't. Oh, yeah. nope. Let's see. Let's see. I'm making it. This is this is a little tougher than I thought it was gonna be. A little tougher. Might have to do a little upgrade on the uh, on the uh, video equipment. <laughs> anyway, Hot Wheels, Black Wheels, 308 Ferrari Turbo. Um, see the year on it, 1982, Hong Kong. So, as you know, you can't always go by that year. That's just the year that uh, this body style was uh, 
that they got permission it was copyrighted. So it was probably could have been released 83, 84. Um, so I particularly love the Hot Wheels Ferraris. I'd really like to get me one of the 118 scales, but they are just crazy, stupid, expensive. Uh, I've got a Barago 124, and they did a pretty good job on their new Ferrari. But I have a bunch of uh, 164 scale Hot Wheels Ferraris. Anytime I, anytime I find one, I pick it up, unless I already have it. And this is one that I don't have, and it's one that I didn't, I didn't even know was out there. Usually you find them in their red. So that, for me, was a pretty good find. One of my favorites, actually, from yesterday, believe it or not. Just plain old Ferrari. I wish it would zoom in and you could see the uh, decals on the side. You got the horse right there, 308 there. It says turbo down here, and you got uh, yellow and red. Pinch ripen going down the side. There's the back of it. It's got a little play wear. Looks like, uh, looks like it had a rollover accident and, and skid. I don't know, maybe a foot. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the Ferrari. All right, next up we got this weird, I don't understand and have no idea what this is. If anybody knows who's watching this, feel free to comment and let me know. I know Hot Wheels has done tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of Camaros. I, myself, and a Camaro guy, Call me an idiot, but I have, uh, what is that? <laughs> I got Camaro tattooed on my arm. It's been, um, Camaros have been part of my family my whole life. My mom had one. Well, my mom had more than one. My dad had one. He had more than one. <laughs> and I've had two myself. So I know a lot about Camaros, and I know, definitely know, Hot Wheels makes a lot of Camaros. This one kind of, what is this? I don't, I don't understand what's going on here. The windshields, the windows are black. I can, I mean, they're really flimsy, plastic. Like I can push down on it and I can feel it. You know, the car itself is a hard plastic. The bottom is plastic. The axles don't seem to be bent. They don't. But that wheel rolls. See how that, it barely rolls. Look at that. So I don't know. Decorations on it look like something from the 80s. I don't know if they were trying to cut cost at that time for something. I, I don't know. So any of my viewers in the comment section, let me know. It would be a nice uh, custom if someone wanted to do a custom on it. Look at that front of that. Excuse me, y'all. Look at the front of that. That would look nice with some... Big nice slicks on the back of it. They did a good job on that front. So that's that. Oh man, I've been done. I've been on here 40 minutes. I'm sorry, y'all, if I'm taking too long. I get I get a little excited with my uh, with my toys. <laughs> uh, next up, we got a 55 Chevy. I'm sure this was part of some sort of. Uh, um, series I know it wouldn't be color changers maybe maybe a pearl series possibly might even be a color changer uh, oh, wrong way right there yep it's pink it's a very you can see that shine on that pink it's a very glossy pink uh, that's why I say it might be part of the uh, I can't remember what I called it now uh, anyway it, it's it's got to be part of some some series. Um, it should say 55 right there on the door. It kind of still says it. You can see remnants of it. You definitely can't see remnants of it on the camera, uh, but it's there. Uh, the bottom here says Chevy. You got the purple pinstriping flames. Same goes for this side. You can kind of see just a little bit where the 55 would have been plastic hood scoop a uh, couple of little nicks on the paint I don't know if you're really gonna be able to see the nicks because this car is just so so uh, clear coated so shiny but mostly 
on the uh, pointed parts, like right there on the tail lights. There's a, oh, there you go, a little paint loss right there. Some ghost flames on the hood, you can barely see it.